It's new release time today. We are focusing on the brand of Kenzo. Look at that bottle. Beautiful. Uh, the brand of Kenzo, can we say an underrated brand? We can say that, right? Um, it is a brand that when I was early on YouTube, 2009, 2010, I was talking about them like crazy. Kenzo Power Cologne right here and the original Kenzo Power, excellent fragrances. Then Tokyo uh, from Kenzo, among others. They actually have a really, really solid line, but let's talk about this new release. And I got my, I got my notes here. Let's take a look at it. So this one is a, we'll say an incense tea-based fragrance from what I hear. Um, it's called Incense Lumière from La Collection Kenzo. So it's their higher echelon line, um, also called the Memory Line Collection. You could say that the notes in here, incense, saffron, and freesia. So that's it. You know, the, the three notes that, that, that brands like to just release. Um, the bottles actually kind of they look like this, actually, the Kenzo Power uh, bottles. The nose behind this is always important on new releases. I always like to look at the nose behind it and see the resume because this is looking like a spring scent. It kind of looks like a freesia incense, maybe a little bit of that spicy saffron. But um, the nose behind this is Karin Dubreuil Sereni. Um, notable releases that I felt in the resume was Gucci Puram 2. This is a tea based fragrance, um, if you didn't know. And uh, she also has constructed some aqua allegorias from Guerlain. Um, so again, in that theme of kind of florals, but really interesting florals for spring, this is where this is going, I think. This Kenzo line, this memory line um, is huge on my wish list. Um, I haven't smelled any of them. They're kind of hard to find, actually. Kenzo is hard to find in North America. So here in Canada, I don't know where to find them. Um, but I do want to sniff them all. And this latest release is right up my, my alley. At least I think so. Um, as per the brief of the brand, they're saying it focuses on the essence of a tea house in Japan. It's so Kenzo. Um, and it's so interesting to me, actually. You know, a tea house, some incense, some saffron here. Um, so pairing incense and saffron with freesia is very interesting to me. Um, I could see here like a light incense with uh, a freesia that has like, of course, that tea base of the freesia. Green, maybe a little fruity here. Freesia note um, usually aren't the star of the show, but here it could be a good backbone. So with all new releases, thumbs up side or down, my interest level, thumbs up. I want to smell this one from the brand of Kenzo. Please let me know what your thoughts are on this new release from the brand of Kenzo.